So I thought I'd show how you take these off. Um, basically, you've got these nubs. You can see this little nub right on right here. It fits in the holes. So like this one right here, it lines up with the hole on that side. And then on this side, you squeeze it over. Like so, and it clips into the into that hole there. So that there's a line. So there it is. That's in place. So when you go to take one off to service it, change the battery, you just kind of see. And when you put it on, it's a little easier when it's attached to the post. But that's that. See, there it is on. And that's how you take it off to service it to get to your battery. So, common problems with these is the battery not keeping a charge. The other thing can be a switch not uh, operating. And on the one I'm showing you today, there was a bad connection. You have a bad solder connection. Um, the one that I had, I changed the battery, but then the battery wasn't holding a charge or taking a charge. So once you put the battery in, when the wheel is, is turned to the light, it should turn off and it has light shining on the solar panel. Uh, if it didn't, then it has a poor connection somewhere in one of the solder joints or to the solar panel. And this particular one was in was in the solar panel itself. So show you that real quick, changing it out. All right, I got a solar light that's not working properly. See, it turns on, but when you turn it towards the light, it should actually turn off. And so what's happening is it's not getting a signal from the solar deal and the battery's actually died because it wasn't charging. Sometimes if I turn it off and turn it on again, it'll turn on for a second, but the battery's actually dead. So one thing is I'll be changing it with a new battery. Um, now the question is, is it a loose connection or is the solar panel bad? So I may either change the solar panel with this one, even though it's a different type, or check the connections to see if we can fix the connect connections here. So what we've got is four screws here. Okay, there's the bottom cover. So from here is the black wire going to the board and the and the red wire going to the board. Both of those seem to be connected. What we'll do is now I got a new battery. So let me take the new battery and turn it on. And it's still not turning off, so if it doesn't turn off, we know something's wrong. Because it should actually let me see if I can show you on this one. Show you. There's this one that you see when it's exposed to light, it turns off. So that's what we're missing on the other one. So. Either we've lost a connection. So now, basically we're gonna have to pop up this solar panel, which is probably glued in there. So, I don't have much to lose as it's broken, so. Worst case is that just breaks out of there. It's 
got some pretty strong glue. Now it's most likely glued right here. So it's possible we may be able to push it up and push it out. Oh boy. This deal would slide out. Okay, we're not trying to do that. That no, is good to know. Okay. Let's see if we can pull this glue out. There we go. There's the black one. And there's the red one. Now let's see if we can push up and push out the solar panel on the other side. Might not be so easy. Glued in there pretty strong. There's the red one. There's the black one. Theory. We're going to have to pop that one out and we're going to have to change it with this one. Same, similar kind of deal. What we're going to do on this is we're going to trim these. There we go. Now we just have to figure out how to pop this deal out, which is siliconed in there. Well, this one feels a little weaker, so that's good. Might be actually easier. See it coming up there? Got it. There we go. Okay. That's good. Now this one, we care about the, the plastics around, but not so much the, the other deal. So hopefully it's a tough one.
Good thing the new one came out easy. <laughs> that old one was tough. Okay. Okay. So now what we can do is use some silicone to do, to uh, put it in once we fix it up. So first off is to poke this down through here so that we can pass the, the wire through, the wires through of our old one, or our new one. And here we go. Okay. Now I'm gonna need to trim this a little bit more so that I can have a nice easy way to connect those wires together. Get a metal eighth there. There we go. Now we pass it on through. There we go. And then we'll glue it once we make sure it actually works. Okay. Okay. Here's the red wire. Twist these red wires together. All right, and then now the black wires. Okay, both connected. There we go. Now we can put our battery in and see how it goes. There it is, see? Now it works properly. So we've changed out the feel here. So now we need to just rotate this in a way that it'll fit down inside there. The best okay there we go and then we'll silicone it in and put some weight on it overnight and that'll be that and then I can pop the battery back out then all that's left to do is wire nut the connections together or use some electrical tape to insulate those and then uh, you know glue the silicone 
put the four screws back in the deal, put the battery back in, and remount it on the post, and it's good to go. So um, what this is is the battery wouldn't have received a charge from the solar panel, and it also wouldn't have turned off when there was light on it. So that's uh, why changing out the battery uh, wouldn't have worked for this or didn't work for this. The battery was dying because it wasn't receiving a connection from the solar panel. So this was an easy one of changing out the solar panel and uh, something you run into with these solar lights. Other things can be a bad battery, a bad switch. The switch can actually be bypassed, although the switch is kind of nice because you can actually sometimes you get cloudy days and over a period of time your batteries can lose charge and it's a good idea once in a while to pull them out and recharge them using a battery charger but if you didn't have a battery charger you could actually uh, let it charge during the day and then turn the switch off at night and then the following morning turn it back on and let it receive a second charge for the whole day before it would turn on again at night so having the switch is kind of nice, but you know, if you had a faulty switch, you could bypass those. You can also replace the light, you can also replace the battery holders, um, you know, wire connections. These are all some of the things that can go wrong with these uh, solar lights, but not, not too difficult to, to repair, just uh, sometimes a good idea to save an old one for parts or whatnot. That's what I did here, I was able to get this thing back up and running. You gotta be ready for the Lord's return. The Lord is gonna come for his bride anytime. Uh, Jesus came to seek and to save those that were lost. That was me. We've all missed the mark. Every person's sin and come short of the glory of God. But Jesus took the punishment that we rightfully deserve on himself at the cross and he gives his righteousness to those that believe on him. So if you haven't put your trust in him, call out to him to save you. It's a gift of salvation. You can't earn it. He did it all on the cross and he calls us to a loving relationship with him. So you are invited to be reconciled to God, something that was impossible. God is holy and our sin is separated, but without God, it was impossible. But God came to save us. He sent his son, Jesus, you know, again, he took all of our sin on the cross and uh, gave himself so that we could be justified in him. So call out to him, get into the Bible, into the Word, and start to grow so that you're protected from deception. There's strong delusions out there, strong deception, and Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He's the only way to the Father. He's the only way to God, so don't, don't get tripped up or tricked, and don't, don't miss out on what is yours through Jesus. You know, call out to him today. Don't wait. Time is short. He's going to return for his people. And uh, if you missed it, then you find yourself in the tribulation, call out to Jesus to save you. Uh, you'll likely die for your faith, but still, like, you have eternal life. The tribulation only lasts seven years, so if you find yourself in part of it, you know, it's not going to be long before everything's finished anyway. Seven years is not a long time, although in the tribulation it's going to seem like a long time. but. Be faithful unto death. That means trusting in Jesus all the way. Um, there's probably not going to be a lot of food, um, and it's going to be a difficult situation. But uh, you, you can still have eternal life through Jesus, because again, He took all of our sin on Himself at the cross. So put your trust in Him today, so you don't miss out, and uh, so that you have the covering, because He is the Lamb the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. All right, stay safe out there. God bless. God bless you.